Apparently there's somebody already here. <laughs> Hello, Lou the Funnies. How are ya? Hello, Carolyn. Just getting set up here for a little stream. Oh, there's like a shadow from here up because <laughs> the lighting in here is uh, not very good for a stream, but okay. Aloha from Hawaii. Hello, Hawaii. Wait, we got two people from Hawaii? Uh, oh, Hawaii? <laughs> Hawaii. Uh, we got Mark and we got a Charles. Lou the Funny says, what about me? I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Whoa, there's already tons of you. I'm going to actually open up the uh, stream here on my laptop so I can see these properly. Uh, let me just switch this. Hello to those of you just uh, joining in. We're just getting set up here for a little live stream. What could make you happy? Okay. <sighs> what is up, everyone? Man, you guys joined quick today. <laughs> How long are you on vacation for? Literally just a few days. Probably just until the 6th and then uh, driving back home. Where are you now? Which state? I am currently in Florida. As you can probably see the, um, the beach in the thumbnail. Lori, this is my first live. Glad you're taking a much needed break. Well, it's more or less a break. I'm still like uploading videos. <laughs> but yes, definitely need a break after this uh, really long run that I've been on. <clears throat> Did you get your car fixed? Yes, I got my car fixed, thankfully. I'm really happy that uh, in San Antonio there was a glass place literally four minutes away from our Airbnb. They ordered it within an hour um, and they literally installed it right away. Within half an hour it was done after showing up. Really good guys at, uh, I think it was called like Myers Auto Glass or something like that. Lindsay says no breaks allowed. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much normal. <laughs> Just uh, adjust this. Love the content you put out. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Don't get drunk. <laughs> I'll try not to. I don't even know if this is. I think this is my second one. Huh. <laughs> not sure but okay so where are you from I am from Canada near Toronto did you meet with jazz in Texas we did we filmed uh, we filmed one video together <clears throat> Is Loma and Chelsea back home? Yes, they actually went home uh, yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. From Dallas. Do you miss Canadian beer? Um, to be honest with you, I actually don't really drink Canadian beer that much. Um, I do like some of the brands, but it's just not really my preference. I try to drink it once in a while, you know, help out the local Canadian boys. <clears throat> 
Hello to those of you just joining us. Welcome to the live. Glad you got your car fixed. Now you're taking a break. Everyone needs a break now and then. Love your videos. Thank you so much, Chloe. Uh, Margaret, well, I am a fan from Texas. Awesome. I would have actually stayed longer in Texas, but there's like a little bit of a storm coming through. And uh, I'm just like... Honestly, as a Canadian, we get enough snow and ice and cold weather back home. And I'm just like, mm, Florida's not that far. <laughs> so let me just go to Florida for your, for a few days, chill out, and then I'll go back home. Uh, will you travel with Mo in Europe? Mo's actually back home. He, uh, he, he was in Turkey. Um, I actually would have liked to go. Um, but I just couldn't really plan it out properly. He was doing like a little bit of a family thing anyway. So, uh, what happened to your car? If you don't mind me asking you. So for those of you who do not know yet, um, me, uh, Chelsea Lomar, we all went to New Orleans for two nights. And, uh, on the second night we ended up going to if you guys are familiar with new orleans there's an area called the french quarter uh it's where a lot of the old historic buildings are right on the uh like the boardwalk area i guess you would call it and so we parked in this underground parking garage and basically went for dinner at the hard rock cafe then walked up bourbon street if you guys are familiar with bourbon street it's basically the party central more or less of new orleans walked around the church then basically took some side streets came back and we get to the car um when lomar notices that the window is smashed so yeah we were we were pretty pissed off because they did steal some stuff um they took chelsea's camera which was very disappointing they went through everything in the car um, I don't know 100% if they took anything of mine. I haven't really noticed anything missing, uh, because most of my important stuff obviously was at home, and my bag with my camera stuff was on me at the time, um, so I didn't leave any of that in the car. The only thing I noticed of mine that was missing was literally a pack of cigarettes, so they took that, <laughs> and, um, what else was missing? Lamar noticed his spirit box was missing, unless he obviously left it somewhere, which we don't think so which is kind of strange because like did they know what it was and then it's it's really not worth a whole lot of money so i mean the spirit box is relatively replaceable um the, the biggest disappointment for us was obviously the the camera for chelsea but a lot of you guys really really came through and um you guys actually donated quite a bit of money to her GoFundMe to help her replace her camera because um, it is something obviously very important to her. I think the saddest part too was the fact that most of her photos from the trip were on the camera except for maybe like 10 photos. Um, so she did lose all of that which really really sucks <clears throat> because I mean we, we spend a lot of time like there's People don't realize like that it's a huge investment between driving around, uh, you know, paying for Airbnb or hotel, whatever it is, obviously gas, um, food, a lot of random discrepancies to, to get the content that we get. And to have something like that happen is kind of like, it sucks because, you know, those are the things that she really cherished and really wanted to have so that way she could obviously uh, post on Instagram and wherever else she posts things. So... It was pretty sucky, but is what it is. Um, obviously, we can't uh, dwell on on when bad shit happens forever. Sometimes you gotta try and stay positive. We did leave the next day and went to Texas, uh, which that was a very long drive. Met some really cool people over there. Filmed some awesome places. Um, yeah, I have to say, I really like Texas. I think. Uh, Texas is definitely one of my favorite places so far that I've traveled to in the U.S. <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, it's unfortunate. It is what it is. Um, I know New Orleans, from what I'm hearing, is 
gone really downhill over the past few years for obviously one reason or another. Um, I mean, people get desperate and they do stupid things, make stupid decisions, is what it is. Um, somebody's asking, did I make it to Texas? I did. We, uh, after that day in New Orleans, we literally drove, I think it was eight and a half hours or something like that. We went straight to our film location, filmed until about 4 a.m., I think. Jazz was supposed to meet us that night. He was actually going to come mm -hmm. and film the jail as well. But uh, unfortunately, there was a quite the mishap with his hotel, which made him literally lose like two to three hours, which I'm sure he'll probably explain in his video. Um, something to do with they screwed up the booking um, and they thought he was booked for like the day after. I don't exactly know what the hell happened there, but yeah. But at least the window is fixed now, uh, thankfully, because let me tell you, after driving 10 hours <laughs> that day, because we had to drive eight and a half to the jail, uh, film there for the four hours, and then literally drive, I think it was like an hour and 45 minutes to San Antonio, parked up at the Airbnb, obviously. Just kind of had the window like tarped temporarily with like a bunch of garbage bags and like a hole that we had to stab through just so I could see like the mirror. Um, but yeah, that was really, really annoying. We were very thankful that it was at least relatively warm. Um, otherwise, that would have been way worse. But uh, yeah, we did Texas. We didn't do like too much filming in Texas. Um, we just kind of like explored around for the most part. We had two like booked locations that we did which were both fantastic um you guys will see the main channel videos of those uh can't wait to post those one of them is a jail um and we caught like one of the well i caught one of the weirdest things ever literally sounded like people were singing upstairs in the jail cell area like, I don't know how else to describe it. I'll probably post, like, a sneak peek at some point on Twitter. But it literally sounded as if somebody was going, like, I couldn't really make out the words. I have to listen to it a little bit more um, just to see if I can see exactly what was being sung. But it literally was like, <laughs> like, I don't know. That's just what I heard. But, yeah, it was pretty cool that I, I even caught it on camera. And I was alone at the time, too. Chelsea was, like, sleeping off to this... Uh, on the couch that was like off in this house nearby and Lamar was off in like another building that's completely disconnected from that building so I know it wasn't them two and there was no one else really in the area uh what else did we do we filmed a really cool mansion uh it's called the Bowers Mansion it is in Palestine Texas it's got some crazy history to it um and we caught some really really interesting stuff there as well it was just a very fascinating experience overall doing that it was a little bit different um we were getting a lot of stuff it seemed like they were trying really hard to communicate with with chelsea um so we definitely were able to document a lot of that <sighs> are you coming back to pennsylvania uh if you do i'd like to meet you guys at the moment probably not um I don't know yet. Uh, obviously, I'll be going back to Pittsburgh eventually, but uh, just not right now. I think after I'm done here in Florida um, in a few days, I'm basically just driving more or less straight home. Do you have a fan or something on? I'm either seeing dust or orbs. There is the AC unit, but that's not on. Uh, yeah, the only noise is there's literally the uh, the ocean is right in front of me. I can actually show you guys the ocean. Um, it's dark out, but, so I don't know how much you guys would actually see. You guys should have come to Arizona. I know. Honestly, I was thinking about it so uh brent is actually in vegas right now he told me that he was going to vegas from the first to the fifth or the second to the fifth or something like that 
And um, I'm like, oh, man, I should literally just drive to Vegas. <laughs> where I was in Texas, it was like probably 17 hours, which would have been the equivalent of where I'm going to in Florida anyways. And I'm like, that would be a really fun idea. But unfortunately, um, Brent couldn't change his flight going home. It was really stupid that they wanted to change his flight, like to add an extra day. It would have been like an extra 240 bucks and they would have given him a crappier seat. But otherwise I would have totally gone through like uh, New Mexico, Arizona. But I would like to do those another time just so that way I can kind of like, I like to focus on certain areas. Um, so that way I could really like at least spend a few days in a certain city that seems really appealing. Um, just so that way, you know, <laughs> you can, uh, you know, kind of get used to it and actually see some stuff because it's kind of hard to see things just driving through for an hour. Come to Ohio. I'd like to go to Ohio. It's just cold right now. <laughs> so that's why we decided to do a down south trip because it's significantly warmer. <sighs> Hannah's man just cracked a Stella. <laughs> I also got my Stella, so cheers. <laughs> Jared King TV. How you doing, man? Hope everything's well. Are you going to move to the U.S. soon? I would like to. Um, it's just a little bit complicated to do something like that, but we will see. We'll try to do something in the future. Kyle Wright. Man, uh, may your rest be plentiful and your content be stellar. Hope, is all, hope all is well, bud. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> What you got started in the paranormal? Uh, oh man, we got tons of stuff. We got tons of freaking videos of places. What did we do? So we did a couple of uh, funeral homes. We did one in like Alabama and one in Pennsylvania. Then we did a place called the Thomas House in Tennessee. That place is really cool. Um, what else did we do? We did a haunted hospital. Um, Oh man, I'm trying to remember the two places in Texas that I mentioned. Uh, we were going to try a couple places in New Orleans, but they were kind of sketchy, so we just kind of said never mind <laughs> another time. Uh, there was a few other things that we did as well. Um, I just, for some reason, can't remember. Oh, we did an abandoned hospital. I'm actually going to try and upload that video tomorrow. Um, see if, it's, if, if it can get done by tonight. Um, then I will be able to upload that, but that was really cool. It was like an abandoned hospital and it legit had everything inside. Like this place was epic. Like there was literally blood left behind. Um, all the equipment was there. All the, like the OR rooms were all set up as if they were literally just going to come back and perform another surgery. It was, uh, it was pretty crazy. I'm trying to remember what else did we do in, uh, we, we did a lot of blogging, so there's going to be a lot of great blogs for you guys as well. <clears throat> I'm trying to catch up on this chat here. There's a lot of you uh, typing right now, so if you don't see me responding, it's just because there's just so many coming through all at one time. I'm trying to see as much as I possibly can. Uh... Anthony says, do you have... Do you have paranormal videos that are really old that you've never uploaded but still have? Uh, there are a couple. I just never really got around to editing them. And then people get, like, really mad <laughs> that you upload a video, like, a year later. Um, I just honestly... I don't know. I don't know why I just never uploaded them. I guess I was just so excited that I had, like, other content that I'm like, okay, you know what, forget the old crap, I'll just upload these instead but i do have a couple there's one of like a daytime video in blue ghost tunnel that we did in niagara falls uh there was one of the what was it called oh my god it was a haunted road but i can't remember what the name of the road was ah shoot yeah i can't i honestly can't remember we did catch some stuff <clears throat> not like you know a huge amount of crazy stuff but uh we did get some stuff on that road um, 
probably a couple others here and there. Some of them that were just like too short, maybe too boring, not enough uh, substance to them. It happens. Sometimes we go to places and they're just honestly, there's nothing there. I'm not getting anything paranormal. The abandoned house might not be exciting enough. So we just don't even, we're not even motivated to really edit them and post them. So I like to try and keep everything very interesting. Melissa, thank you so much for the donation, says, keep positive, uh, keep positive, much love from Colorado, shout out to Colorado, I would have loved to go through Colorado, but unfortunately I'm already back in Florida, so I'm going to be going like this through the US, but one day I will be going this way and I will be going through Colorado and all those interesting places towards the west. I've never actually been to the west in the US yet, I've done literally i want to say i've been to probably about 25 states so far in the u.s and all of them are kind of unique in their own way which is cool we get that a lot that every state is kind of like its own little country which i really really like <clears throat> would you do another mansion video with mo obviously <laughs> and for just the problem right now is that because mo was in turkey for a while um and I've been kind of like down here. There hasn't really been a time for us to coordinate. Plus, there's not really like much to film right now in the, in Canada. It's kind of boring, to be honest. Even Steve Ronan was asking me earlier today. He's like, what places do you know in Montreal? I'm like, uh, well, there's a few places that you could literally potentially kill yourself. So I don't know if you want to do those. <laughs> but yeah, there's really not much in Canada right now. It kind of sucks. Uh, wow, you'd really like the le the West. We have a lot of things to do. Old Tombstone is pretty cool. I know, I know, I know of a lot of really cool, very interesting places in the West. A lot of ghost towns, cool things in Colorado. Um, I'd love to go to places like Utah, uh, you know, South Dakota, places like that. I do, I love the outdoorsy type of stuff. Um, so that would be really cool and very unique. Just haven't had enough time to make my way out there, so. But we will get there eventually. One step at a time, I say. What about your car? What happened? Uh, I already kind of spoke about this, but basically somebody smashed a window to my car to steal a bunch of stuff um, in New Orleans. Debbie, thank you for the donation. Much love from North Carolina. Dealing with COVID this helps dealing with COVID much love from North Carolina dealing with COVID this helps are you do you have COVID or are you asking if I have it because I definitely don't have it as far as I know but thank you anyways for the donation <laughs> um are you coming to Australia probably eventually honestly I'm just gonna wait until like a lot of because there's a lot of places that have like a lot of crazy restrictions and things kind of I know things are finally starting to die down with all the uh the COVID stuff um, so certain places I'm kind of like, I'm not motivated yet to come there, but I will eventually. The world is also very big, so it takes a long time to, to do as much traveling as I, as I would like. Plus it's also very expensive. <laughs> I can't just, you know, snap my finger and, and pay for a trip wherever I want. Things have to be kind of planned accordingly, of course. Um... She said that she has COVID and your videos help. Okay, well, I'm glad to hear that the videos help. Um, sorry that you have COVID. I hope you feel better soon. Um, really love watching your videos. You're so calm and don't get loud like a couple of creators. Very calming. Thank you. Feel better soon, Tammy. Uh, you should come to Branson, Missouri. Anthony's asking, have you caught COVID as far as I know? No. Um, would you consider doing reaction videos? I actually have done reaction videos. Um, have I done reactions to like haunted stuff? I have actually. Uh, those are on my vlog channel. Uh, Ange Bona TV, A N G B O N A TV. If you want to check them out, feel free. I've done a couple of old reaction videos before. 
I've done a couple like of the TLC ones. Um, that was back when I really didn't have much of an audience. Um, they were just kind of, you know, random fun little things. Would you do a haunted video in Wisconsin? That is where I am at. I would love to see a video from Wisconsin. Probably one day. I hear Wisconsin's a pretty interesting place. Uh, watching the Washington Capitals hockey game. Love hockey. Hockey's fun. I used to play hockey once in a while. I think you would know if you got COVID. You would think so, but um, I think majority of people actually don't show symptoms when they get COVID. It's just by chance if you get tested and it shows up as positive. Uh, Princess Peppermint Patties, thank you so much for the, uh, the little rose there. Very much appreciated. Uh, Damn shame about your car, at least no one got hurt. Yeah, of course, we are uh, grateful that no one got hurt with any of that happening. Uh, I mean, it could have gone relatively bad, I guess you can say, if we had showed up while the uh, break-in to the car was happening at the time. Nicolette Freeman, much love from Hawaii. Have a great day. You too. I would love to go to Hawaii. Hawaii would be so cool. <laughs> I love like beaches and waterfalls and like outdoorsy stuff. It's pretty much what I did today. <laughs> Just kind of hung out. I actually caught this really cool picture. Um, let me actually disconnect this power. I'm going to show you guys this. Just give me one second here. Let me find the, uh, cause I actually edited the pictures as well. They came out really cool. So this, let me see how to flip this. So I was on a beach here today in Florida, and this is what I saw. I saw him from a distance, and I'm like, hey, I think that's a falcon. <laughs> I, actually, at first I thought it was a hawk, um, but then I looked at the pictures. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. It's actually called a Peel's falcon. Very, very cool. Such a beautiful, majestic animal. <laughs> Memories of that trip to Montreal where you got <sighs> Les boosted? What? Oh, where your car got Les boost boosted? Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Oh my god, that was so stupid. That was actually not Montreal, that was Quebec City. So it was funny because they had like no parking signs apparently, but they had them like really high up on the building for some odd reason. I swear they do this shit on purpose. <laughs> and uh, where I was parked on the same street where the Airbnb was and by the next morning the car wasn't there so I'm like uh shit either the car got stolen or got towed called the city they said they had it funny part is that they actually parked the car in a no parking zone like there's there was literally a sign right in front of the car and I'm like really like, are you going to tow the car again from the no parking zone and park it somewhere else? Like, this doesn't make any sense. Uh, when am I going to go back to Waverly Hills? At some point in the future? I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. You need to check out the abandoned Pennsylvania Turnpike in Breezewood. I've actually been to the abandoned Pennsylvania Turnpike. And... It's kind of interesting. Like, me and Brent, we were just kind of driving back from Philly to Pittsburgh. But, I mean, it's like, it's just a road. I mean, some people are into that kind of stuff, but it was just like a really long road. We didn't have too much time. <clears throat> I know there's like a little, um, like a, I don't even know how to describe it. There's some kind of like room or something along the road. But I keep hearing that they may have like filled it in so people can't go in it anymore. I don't know why. Um, but, yeah. Love Florida. I visit my father once a year in Sarasota area of Florida. Florida is awesome. I love the weather, the beaches, the people are relatively nice. Um, <laughs> finally, somebody got it. 
Moshi Yo says, we were on a break. <laughs> yes. Congratulations to Moshi. You win a prize. Uh, when I see you, I will give you a big hug. Um, it's a friend's reference. I wish I had the ability to help you with the window. Sorry that happened to you. When I can, I'll show a ton of support. That's okay. I really appreciate the donation, though. That's cool. Um, good to see you're trying to have a break. Much love from Melbourne, Australia. Shout out to Melbourne, Australia. I would really like to go to Australia. That would be cool. Of course, I might get eaten by, like, a crocodile or a snake or something, but... <clears throat> and I know they have a lot of uh, really creepy spiders. <laughs> I can't remember the... What's that one that, like, jumps at things? Uh, shoot, I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's, uh, it, it's like, really big. They're, like, this big. They have, like, all creepy legs and shit. Oh. Not a not a fun thing if one of those were to like jump in your face. But I know people, what they do. So I hear Australians. You guys can corroborate this and confirm it for me. But apparently, a lot of Australians will have like one of those air duster cans uh, that kind of spr sprays like compressed air, and they'll spray it under the door handle of their cars before grabbing the door handle because a lot of the times these giant spiders will hide under there and you won't know that they're there so imagine just reaching in and this giant spider comes on your hand uh funnel spider can be deadly down there come on over to alaska i would have loved to do alaska when they had the uh the magic bus um, I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen the movie Into the Wild, based on a story about a man named Christopher McCandless, a.k.a. Alexander Supertramp, and he basically went to go and live in Alaska uh, by himself in the wilderness. He finds this bus, calls it the Magic Bus, and it was there up until either last year or the year before. Problem was too many people were trying to go to it, and they were getting hurt or killed or whatever <sighs> into the wild is good absolutely it's like one of my favorite movies <sighs> chloe says lol nope won't see me there lol i hate spiders and snakes <laughs> oh man yeah, I can only imagine uh, my mom going to a place like uh, Australia where they have so many creepy crawlies. <laughs> my mom is absolutely, she's probably watching this stream right now. Uh, so she is absolutely terrified of pretty much anything that moves. <laughs> so she'll literally see a fly and scream at the top of her lungs. Oh my god! Come kill it! <laughs> Would you do a Cry Baby Bridge video? I've actually done Cry Baby Bridge videos before. Uh, we've done a couple of them. Ooh, is there a location you've previously been to you'd like to go back to? Tons, honestly, tons of locations. I like revisiting places because um, sometimes you get um, a lot of different stuff the second time versus the first time that you go. Uh, would cry I'm terrified of anything anything creepy crawlies. I swear I have to close my eyes when people are exploring and video spiders gives me nightmares. <laughs> my sister had a big white spider with a big back on her bedroom window. E. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Yeah, I would say it's, uh, it's probably out there somewhere. This person says, yeah, I'm I'm in Queensland, so yeah, lots of stuff that bites and stings and slithers here. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I love how 
There's this one message that got held for review. It says, Anna, I hate when you squish the nuts, man. And they had babies and you step on them and babies are everywhere then. I think it's because, Sue, I think it's because you wrote nuts. So for some reason, YouTube just caught on to that. That's so weird. Oh, man. Yo, watch out for poisonous things. Yeah, definitely. Hello from Windsor, Ontario. Ooh, the hidden tunnels in Tranquil. I know exactly what you're talking about, too. Renata Meyer. I'm going to try and say your name properly. I probably did this last time, too. Meyer Sheck. I don't even know if I'm saying that properly. Thank you. Happy birthday on Saturday. It's also my birthday on Saturday. It's so cool. <laughs> we have the same birthday. That is the fifth, right? I don't even keep track of birthdays. A lot of, a lot of times I honestly don't even know when my birthday is, which is this Saturday, apparently. <laughs> Much props to you going to these dark haunted places, but I'm also afraid of the dark, so I would definitely need someone to go with me, but I would love to do that, though. Yeah, it does definitely take a little bit. Uh, I know Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum in West Virginia is expensive for private tours, but it's so amazing. Even if you didn't do haunted, it's beautiful for an explorer. I know, I was actually, I've always tried, like, maybe even just doing, like, a daytime thing at Trans Allegheny. But man, they charge a freaking fortune. I don't even understand why. It's like well over $2,000 to do an investigation for a night in Trans Allegheny. I, I don't understand that. It'd be cool to do, don't get me wrong. Um, how old am I? Right now I am 30. I will be 31 on Saturday. Uh, Michelle says, hi, Angela. Hope your trip to Texas was good. Are you going to come back? Definitely. I did not get to see enough of Texas. Um, I really wanted to go to Austin, but I just didn't really have the time. Um, San Antonio was amazing, though. Like, I knew it was probably going to be pretty cool, but I didn't really, like, expect that with, like, the river walk and stuff like that. I don't know if any of you guys have ever been to or are from San Antonio. But that is one heck of a cool city. <laughs> so much, like, history mixed with, like, just, it's so beautifully done. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Yes, my birthday is on Saturday. I am an old man. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Not that old yet. Uh, what's your favorite place you've been to so far? Honestly, I've been to so many at this point that it's like, it's really hard to say which was my favorite just because every place is so unique in its own way. I'd say on this one, hmm, I think my favorite on this one probably would have been the Thomas House in Tennessee. That place was cool. It was very unique. I've never seen anything like that. Whew, I'm going to actually turn on the AC in here. It is really freaking hot. Do you guys want to see uh, the darkness ocean, I guess we'll call it? <laughs> It's, uh, it's pretty dark out there, but I'll give you guys a little little sneak peek. Ugh. I don't know if any of this is going to show up. There it is. I'm really hoping the uh, Wi-Fi doesn't disconnect. <laughs> so I'm going to stand right here, but yep, that's the ocean. It's quite nice. I know, I probably couldn't really see much anyways, just because it's so pitch black out there. <laughs> uh, 
I'll have it all in the vlog anyways. I actually went uh, earlier to this one spot. Um, and it's kind of like in between like the har... What do you call it? What would you call it? Like the harbor and like there's a huge cove and then it's just basically the Gulf of Mexico. Um, and there was like this little peninsula strip, which is where I saw the, uh, the Falcon. That spot was really cool. There was like ferries going by, people with their yachts and sea dews and stuff. Um, it was very windy though. You and Frenchie move in together and get a house in Pittsburgh. I don't know who Frenchie is. <laughs> What made you want to start doing YouTube? Honestly, I just thought it was a fun thing to do. It was uh, it just kind of started as like a little hobby, just, um, I don't know, thinking of like different ideas, different things that I could film or document, whether it was obviously paranormal or something else. I mean, I did try a few different things. Um, before I started really doing the paranormal stuff, so it wasn't always, you know, the paranormal type of stuff. <sighs> do you naturally pick up on energy without using equipment? I would say that I do, yes. Um, not always, but I would say that I can usually tell if there's like a presence or somebody nearby. The Little Witch Savard says, did you miss Tokyo? I would love to go back to Tokyo. Tokyo is such a cool place. It's like a city made of cities. <laughs> it's like probably one of the most unique places you will ever see. Is it warm in Florida? Uh, so right now I am in the panhandle part of Florida, so like the northern, like where Tallahassee is, um, it's relatively warm. It's like in Celsius, like probably 18, 19 degrees today, uh, but where I'm going tomorrow should be warmer and sunnier, so. Uh, Joanne, Jojo Curtis Venture, thank you so much. Happy birthday, yay. <laughs> Godzilla is in Japan. Can you do for four? Any tips for first timer of ghost hunting? Um, hmm. I guess just kind of find your style. Um, I mean, if you're filming it, obviously that's a whole different ball game. But yeah, if you're just like, just trying to get used to it, it's a lot of trial and error between figuring out what works and what doesn't work when it comes to ghost hunting. Plus every place is relatively unique. Uh, so sometimes you gotta try different things. It's also good to go in groups um, cause obviously if you end up shitting your pants, <laughs> at least you're not alone when you're shitting your pants. Um, but yeah, plus I think I find the thing that going in, like not a huge group, but like a decent sized group, whether it's like three, four people is that certain locations you'll find that certain entities will communicate with like one maybe two specific people of your group like they'll clearly go towards that person uh that actually happened recently in texas when we filmed the jail because for some odd reason there was i'm assuming what would have been a female prisoner who was reacting only when i was in the cell if it was just lamar and chelsea nothing would happen but when i would go in there we would ask questions and the rem pod would go off instantaneously and also go off instantaneously which was also pretty cool uh evan essence says i'm moving to florida cool congratulations have you ever bring back a negative spirit back to your home yes i have um, we'll talk about that at some point in the future. 
In Orlando, Florida, it's going to be in the 80s. I know. That's why I'm heading that way. <laughs> I'm not going to Orlando, but I won't be too far from there. Oh, do you have PayPal? I do have PayPal. It should be somewhere in... I probably don't have it on here, but it's usually like in the description of all my videos. Um... Melanie says, come back to Canada. I will be back in Canada shortly. I can't stay here forever, unfortunately, even though it is paradise in Florida. <laughs> um... <sighs> what are the places you want to go to in the future? Honestly, there's so many cool places to do, but it's just so hard to do them all. I just have, I have like lists upon lists, like maps of all these different locations all over the, all over the world, really. Uh, do you drink other beer other than Stella? I do. If I can't find Stella, I'll usually find something else. Thank you for the birthday wishes. I know it's not my birthday yet, but it is coming up. <laughs> I got a question for you. Who are you investigating with right now? Uh, no one. I'm actually on my own. Just taking a little bit of a break. A little bit of a breather. A little vacation. Vacation. <laughs> Down here in Florida. All the way in paradise, like I mentioned. Black Label Rebel Beer. I've actually never heard of that before. That sounds interesting. I meant other beer, or do you just drink Stella? So usually it's Stella. Um, if I'm in the States, uh, it really depends on... Because normally we, you can buy beer here from the gas station. So it would depend on what they have in stock um yeah usually stella sometimes like miller high life um yingling's not bad um what else what else is good blue moon's pretty good i just don't like so many like i like the taste but after a while i feel like it becomes a little overwhelming if you have like four five or six of them what else do I like? Back home, I'll drink, like, uh, Moosehead. Uh, Keith's is pretty good. Stuff like that. How did you and Mo meet? Actually, that's a pretty funny, uh, funny story. Um, so, originally, um, I don't even remember what it was. So, I remember on Twitter, he asked if anybody was licensed for scuba diving. And I responded, I'm like, I'm not licensed yet, but I will be soon. I was actually planning on going to get my license. Uh, it was actually me and my friend were planning on getting our licenses. I think in like Mississauga, they do it somewhere. So we were going to do that. <clears throat> and he ended up messaging, DMing me on Twitter. And we just started kind of like talking, whatever. One day he did a live stream. I remember it was the Log Mansion. And... I knew he was in my area, like not far from me, maybe like half an hour away. And I said, uh, I got this really cool place if you want to film it. Um, this is what it is. I have a story behind it as well. Something that personally happened to me and my girlfriend at the time. Ended up meeting him there that night in the middle of a graveyard and next to a, a spooky haunted church. And um, after that, we ended up going on like a road trip together, became friends, and just basically never stopped being friends after that. Hello, Roxanne from Texas. Yeah, our, uh, our, our story of meeting is uh, actually kind of funny. Are you planning on going to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania anytime soon? I would like to, but it would have to be 
like during spring or summer. I just don't want to go there when it's cold. I'm trying to like avoid filming in the cold. It uh, it really like takes a toll on your body. I'm in the deep freeze again, just to let you know. <laughs> yeah, I hear up north it's uh, very cold. <laughs> Back home, my mom was showing me like all the snow and stuff, and I'm like, whoop, sucks to be you. <laughs> There's no snow here. Just sand, ocean, a little bit of wind, a little bit of rain, but that's okay. We can deal with that for now. Uh, what was your first paranormal experience? Oh, man. Hmm. I don't even remember. Like, specifically what the first was? Ooh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, to be honest. Probably had something, like, weird happen at home. Watch for raccoons. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, my God. And now I know what you're talking about. The, uh, the night at Bobby Mackey's. The raccoons decided to show up to party. Yeah. <laughs> Is Arcade Matt doing well? Um... As far as I know, he should be doing well. I haven't spoken to him in a little bit, but... Uh, sorry, had to join late. Did you get your window fixed? I did. Have you stayed at Omar Gosh's retro van? I think it is. I'm not sure about a retro van, but I have stayed at his clown cottage a couple times. Is Josh really your brother? <laughs> no, Josh is not really my brother. I'm actually an only child. I don't have any uh, any siblings. Angelo went window shopping. I did. I'm glad that it wasn't like so hard to find a window. In New Orleans, it was like impossible to find a window. They were like, oh yeah, we need to order it. It would be here in like three to five days. I'm like, there's no effing way <laughs> I'm staying in New Orleans for three to five more days uh, so then we ended up just driving for like 10 hours pretty much windowless well kind of tarped up whatever and then we got to San Antonio and the following day I was able to find one luckily hello from Wyoming now that would be a really cool place to check out Do you carry any crystals with you to protect your energy from negative spirits? I do not. I do have um, like a little charm thing and a prayer. That's about it. Usually does the trick. Mostly. <laughs> Hello, Mississippi. Hi, Mississippi. I was actually there uh, yesterday. Drove right through. Have you figured out where you're going to live in the U.S.? Uh, or are you going to live in Canada for a little while longer? Honestly, I would if I had to pick a place. Um, out of convenience, because there's locations. Like, you can literally go anywhere from there. Would be Pittsburgh. It's also a really beautiful city. It's safe, for the most part. Um, there's always cool things to see and do. Um, I would love to have... I eventually have like a little vacation spot in Florida somewhere just because like I come down here so often at this point that it's like it would make sense <laughs> but uh, no I'm not decided yet um, the process of immigration to the US is not very simple Uh, much love from Michigan. Shout out to Michigan. Such a cold question, but curious on your beliefs. Oh, such an odd question. Uh, I am Roman Catholic. When things like your window getting broken, do you think of giving YouTube a break? Um, not really. <laughs> not anytime soon. I feel like I'm still kind of like in the building phase on YouTube, so it's kind of like the grind never really stops. 
plus we film so much and it's like i i enjoy it like i genuinely enjoy doing this i enjoy traveling uh getting to see different places experiencing different things um obviously some are good some not so good like what happened in new orleans like don't get me wrong our experience in new orleans was mostly good it's a beautiful city in the older more touristy area uh the other parts not so great um it's just very run down like a lot of the streets are like literally filled with potholes so you feel like you're gonna break your car if you had a lowered car you'd be screwed in new orleans um a lot of grifters uh like there was literally a guy <laughs> that let me hold his sign and he's like here hold the sign hold the sign take a picture take a picture and then he's like asking for five dollars i'm like really bro like is that like how crazy inflation is right now that holding a sign costs five dollars um and then you get like people running around with the beads and whatever and chelsea and loma are not really used to that or the idea of you know grifters or you know people hustling whatever and i do i respect the hustle for the most part i mean these people are trying to make a living where they can i know times are very hard with the pandemic and everything so i totally get it but like i had no interest in buying beads <laughs> from somebody on the street but chelsea and lomar didn't understand that when they come to like put the beads on you and they're being all friendly it's because they want money and i'm like oh, okay well now i gotta give this guy something otherwise he's gonna like he's not gonna like us very much so i gave him a couple bucks whatever um yeah sometimes you experience good things like the food was good there couldn't complain about that the sights and sounds were very interesting just too much commotion when it came to like the grifters uh plus obviously you know the vandalism between my car and there's a lot of like old buildings too that are tagged up just because they're like abandoned people just go and like tag them all up and it's like dude like what are you doing man like you're literally ruining your own city i don't i don't understand the concept i like if you were gonna be like some sort of graffiti artist at least do it well <laughs> and then just don't just write stupid shit on walls everywhere you go like it's just dumb it literally makes no sense to me but whatever i don't know people do stupid shit all the time that really doesn't make any sense uh barbara and breen being a channel creator on youtube is not easy you must stay mo motivated through it all um yeah pretty much i mean the way that i see it this is kind of like from a business perspective um when you're in business you do have to stay motivated and motivation only has a certain shelf life before it expires that's the way i see it so you have to kind of find new ways to kind of keep yourself motivated for me that's planning and doing a lot of these trips it's very motivating to me just because i like traveling i like doing different things so i keep doing more and more and more so that way i get to see a whole bunch of stuff um other than that yeah you, it's it's kind of like if you if you were to treat it as a hobby let's be realistic hobbies don't pay very well it, some of you might have collected hockey cards back in the day it was a hobby you probably don't make any money especially if you had cards from the 90s they're virtually worthless so hobbies are not they don't pay well like i said um same thing with youtube if you want to be if you want to do well on youtube you absolutely can anybody can um but you have to grind it out and treat it treat it as if like i guess kind of like a job right or like a business um yeah number one fan been watching you from day one you are amazing thank you how did you get started on youtube somebody mentioned that um to be honest with you i honestly don't even really like there wasn't anything specific i just liked the idea of making content i thought it was fun so i started out trying to do vlogs and like reaction videos eventually got into like making making sort of like documentaries um things like that and then i started doing a lot of the um paranormal type of stuff barbara ann says angela you're awesome don't forget that thank you so much um but yeah it was the 
pretty much around that time. And also this channel used to be my business channel. Um, there's probably still one video. It's probably like the very, very first one on this channel. Uh, I think it was like the Hockey Fails compilation. So we used to own a sporting goods business and we sold a lot of like hockey equipment and we used to make like these review videos. We used to do jerseys and stuff like that. So we would make these like fun, entertaining videos that would also promote the product, but obviously was also still engaging at the same time and something cool for people to watch. And that's how this channel started. And then eventually I closed that business there wasn't really any need anymore for this channel to be sporting goods related and I eventually transitioned this one into the exploring one. The other one, the, the vlog channel that I have now, was actually my first, my original channel. Um, that one was supposed to be the main channel and then this one was supposed to be sort of like, you know, the exploring haunted and i guess this one kind of just ended up taking over and because we do so much exploring haunted abandoned type of stuff we just this one just you know kind of snowballed into what it is today obviously thanks to to you guys um didn't you edit for mo at some point yes i actually did edit for mo uh for almost a year i actually was living in ottawa uh near him when I did that, I'm not going to lie, I was in pretty much a uh, little bit of a rough spot financially at the time. I was like pretty much going broke. Uh, it was after I had to close my business. I was in like a transition period of trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I knew it was YouTube at the time. YouTube wasn't exactly paying the bills full time, even though I was trying to do it full time wasn't really making any money and it's kind of hard to you know pay for travel expenses and even just you know your regular home expenses on virtually no income so I knew at the time Mo was looking for a full-time editor cameraman somebody to go on him uh, go with him on adventures so I kind of took up the offer thought about it for a little bit because I knew that he wanted somebody obviously who was local in Ottawa so I said you know what Let's just, let's have a fresh start. Let's uh, take this up, take up this job, um, move to Ottawa, live there almost kind of on my own because I was living in like a shared house. And uh, it was definitely a fun experience. And then just after a while, I guess a lot to do with like the pandemic and stuff like that, it just got annoying living in Ottawa nothing to do with Mo. It was just me. I just didn't like living there. And I'm like, screw this place. I need to go back home. Um, it, it was just hard because I didn't have a lot of people there. Uh, I mean, realistically, the only people I really knew from Ottawa would have been Mo and Rennie, which obviously were together as much as we could be, which obviously wasn't like every day because you know everybody's got families and their own jobs and things to do uh other than that the only other people i knew were uh lamar and chelsea as well so my whole like support system was back home in in brampton and i'm just like you know what i'm just gonna go back home be with the family um do what i gotta do and uh hopefully i can make youtube my full-time thing and luckily it worked out <laughs> I mean, it took a lot of work and effort, obviously. I see, like, nothing coming through in the chat. Did it, like... Oh, there we go. <sighs> Getting started on your careers together, where were you born uh well we didn't start our careers together mo mo uh started youtube years ago probably like five six years now um where i was born was i think brampton or toronto i don't know like the exact hospital but like as a baby it was brampton I'm still considering YouTube. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, just think of, like, 
what kind of niche you want to do because I guess everybody kind of has like they got to figure out what their style is right um, like I'll tell you a story about like Brent for example some of you guys might know him a very good friend of mine from Pittsburgh uh, so he's been really successful within the last year blew up from uh, virtually like a thousand two thousand subscribers now he's at like two million so originally what he used to do was kind of like a lot of uh, skits and stuff like that just a lot of like funny stuff and i really like enjoyed that kind of stuff that he was doing uh not to say anything is wrong with his stuff now it's great um but he went on to tiktok and he started doing this style where it was louder faster more attention grabbing while still being able to use his version of humor because brent's humor is totally unique um <laughs> and he kind of like figured out how to mesh all of that stuff into a certain style of content that works and then he started posting it on youtube and it worked he absolutely blew up which is uh fantastic for him I'm very happy that he did um, cause I love seeing when people, uh, especially just, you know, like normal average everyday people can be successful, especially e even here on this platform as well, or, uh, whatever it might be, right? Some people are very successful on TikTok. Some people very successful on YouTube. It all depends. Either tarot readings or knit tutorials. Yeah, that would be cool. Just like I said, find a unique attention grabbing way to um engage people into the content because i'm sure there's a lot of people who are into uh knitting or tarot readings or whatever it might be um but try and find the most unique way possible that you can make yourself stand out from the crowd i guess you could say everybody kind of like does things their own way I find myself doing that. I am, you know, completely different personality from, say, Mo, um, or maybe from, you know, I don't know, anybody else, really. I mean, you'll find people who are similar in ways, um, but yeah. Detroit Red Wings are the best, are they? Um, cool, you definitely had a mentor being able to work with Mo, now that you are doing your own style of videos, it really truly shows your talents. And yeah, and I'm, I'm even after like the last couple of years, I'm always learning new things, new ways to film, um, ways to keep the videos entertaining. Um, like for me, I like collabing with certain people where I'm able to have the story kind of flow i guess you can say where it's kind of like we make it fun and silly but at the same time um you know still thought provoking engaging um and obviously there's still the investigation the paranormal aspect as well like you guys probably saw the school the haunted school that we recently did it was me jazz and ben and we did the scene <laughs> where we had literally a tea party with the little tiny teacups. And this, like, the tiny, tiny. <laughs> but it was, like, it was so stupid. But it was, like, it was fun at the same time, right? And I'm, like, I'm, as I'm editing, I'm, like, man, this is a really fun video. Like, we were just having a blast, being ourselves. Um, there was still the paranormal aspect to it. So I really like doing stuff like that. Franco TV would be a fun collaboration, no doubt. I gotta see what that guy's up to and see if I can uh, maybe set up a collab with him. Franco is hilarious, man. He does these, once in a while, he'll send us, like, voice notes, and they're, like, the funniest shit ever. Because he could just mimic all these different voices, and they're just absolutely hilarious. <sighs> what was your least favorite place that you visited? There's been lots. There's been a lot of places that are just crap <laughs> some places where you don't get much um some abandoned homes that have you know floors for holes floors for holes holes for floors and there's just not much there hmm. i adore franco franco is hilarious man 
The tea party was pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> uh, love you, Jazz, and Ben together. I'll probably uh, collab with them again soon. I'm going to go home for a little while. Just kind of like, uh, I got a lot of like editing and things to catch up on. A couple other like little projects that I'm working on. Um, and then plan, I guess, the next trip from there. It'll probably be like out east. Um, there seems to be a lot of locations that are popping up over there. Have you ever come across homeless person in abandoned buildings? Yes, I have. Um, we've been fortunate enough that they seemed relatively harmless. I mean, most homeless people are. The thing with homeless people is unfortunately a lot of them are drug users which makes them relatively unpredictable and with unpredictability becomes dangerous uh, you never really know what these people are going to do how they're going to react they could be tweaking out um, and think you're there to harm them and in turn they're going to attack you and it just turns into a mess so you do got to be very cautious when going into these places um, we do know that there's been situations where homeless people have literally been hiding from us. Squatters, we call them. Uh, they squat inside of these abandoned homes or whatever, and then we didn't even realize that they were there until later. It happens. Zach, thank you so much for your donation. Uh, love the video, and you, and most RG. Cool. Thank you so much. But yeah, it, it, it does happen. Sometimes you run into them. Um, I remember a while ago we were in Sudbury, Ontario, went to a school and there was a couple of homeless people that were there um the guy that we were talking to we did notice that there was somebody else kind of like hiding in the school and we decided not to go in the school because clearly they were hiding for some reason and we didn't know what that reason was and like i said there was a sense of unpredictability didn't know what this person was going to do the other guy that was there, um, he was telling us that he was in some sort of motorcycle accident, I think it, it was, and you can tell he was definitely suffering some sort of mental illness because of it, and he wasn't totally in his right frame of mind. He was going on about random stories that just didn't really seem to make sense, at least they didn't seem to make sense to us, that we couldn't really like put all the pieces of the puzzle together. to even really understand what he was trying to say we did try and help him i gave him you know a beer we gave him some water uh mo gave him some pants and some socks because his were just absolutely destroyed uh yeah and i mean tried to help him out as best as we could the other guy we never really interacted with because he was kind of like off hiding in the shadows but yeah kate says can you say hi to me hello uh mo is back in canada yes he is did he not say he went to that school too? I believe he did say he went to that school. Um, I don't know if he was telling the truth or not. From what it sounded like, it sounded like he was trying to almost say like that he was protecting it, which I don't know the truth behind that because apparently somebody else that I know went a week or two later and he was gone. And also the pants were left there in the corner. Um, but yeah. Download the Necrophonic app yesterday on my phone. My daughter is really sensitive to energies and spirits, and now she won't let me use it around her. LOL, a spirit called out her name. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, the uh, the Necrophonic app is uh, it's definitely something else, man. Uh, is your room haunted? I don't think so. I haven't really had anything happen, at least not yet. Did you see Bread TV's little puppet? What do you mean? Did he uh, did he make a video about something? Oh, the world's smallest boppet. Okay. <laughs> no, I haven't seen this yet, but I'll probably watch it later on. 
I honestly, I don't have, I wish I did have the time to watch everybody's videos, but it's just, there's not enough time in like a, a week or day or anything. <laughs> Is there a free app to download on your phone, um, like a spirit box app or some type of ghost hunting equipment? I don't know. You'd have to look and try it, try it out. Maybe there's some free ones. I'm not sure. Uh, the only ones that we really use are the Necrophonic, the Dead Wave. They're from the same company. Uh, there was another one that they have. I've just never really used it, just because I always forget that I even have it. Called EVP Shifter. Uh, that one's from the Necrophonic family as well, because um, they gave it to me to try out, um, to like promote it for them. I just honestly forgot that I even had it, mm -hmm. so maybe I'll try that one out in the next uh, video or something. I don't know. So I heard somebody broke into your car. Did they ever get caught? As far as I know, they never got caught. Um, we do have to wait a little while longer, uh, because I do believe that the officer... Uh, said that it was going to be like 14 days for them to conclude their investigation. I don't know what investigating they're going to do because New Orleans is just full of criminals and can't catch them all. It's very difficult. Like they did do some like fingerprint dusting or whatever, but uh, they were clean. Nothing came up. No match, unfortunately. So it might be difficult unless somebody catches on. To the fact that, like, so for example, if whoever has Chelsea's camera, if they were to bring Chelsea's camera and they were stupid enough to leave all the photos on there and not wipe it clean, the, the uh, pawn shop, if they bring it to a pawn shop, might realize that, hey, this camera is probably not this person's. Um, hopefully they do realize that, maybe look into the system or call the cops just to verify and be like, listen, we have this camera, but... I mean, realistically, is, like, every pawn shop going to call the cops every time somebody comes to tri uh, to sell or pawn something? It's, like, it's not really feasible. It's not really reality. So, to us, I mean, we're pretty much considering the camera. It's gone at this point. Um, like I said, there is a GoFundMe. Um, I did make a post about it the other day. If any of you guys want to donate, don't feel obligated. Uh, but if you do want to donate something, she's literally almost at her goal. She's like this close, I think like a couple hundred bucks off. Uh, so we can actually replace the camera thanks to you guys, of course. Um, it was a huge help. And it uh, feels really good that uh, the community really came together and, and helped her out in that respect. Because, I mean, how is a photographer supposed to be a photographer without a camera at the end of the day? And of course, the, the thieves that took them don't think that way they don't realize hey maybe this uh, camera is this person's livelihood at the end of the day they don't think like that so people just do whatever it is that they want to do uh have you seen a real ghost i have seen a real ghost a couple times actually um what is the scariest thing you have ever seen uh oh, there's something that i've been seeing quite often now Hasn't shown up in a little while, thankfully, but uh, there is something that I have seen. I don't want to really spoil it because we are going to document it. Um, and uh, you, you guys will know more about it later on. I did mention it in one video, but there is still more to the story. Uh, yeah, it called out Olivia, and we just heard a big bang on her wall and went and checked, and a painting canvas was knocked over. Oh, man, when stuff like that happens, that's creepy. <laughs> Yeah, we've had weird stuff like that happen before. That's uh, that's pretty intense. Man, I can't believe we've been on this stream for like an hour and 20 minutes. There's still 268 of you watching. That is incredible. Um, so I do have some stuff that i got to take care of tonight. So that way I can have a video for you tomorrow. Uh, so I'm probably going to get off of here and go and do that. Just so that way you guys have something to watch. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do another live stream too. I've been trying to do these more often, at least than, uh, than I used to whenever I have time. When I'm home, I'll probably do like maybe once a week. If you guys like that, let me know. Uh, maybe we can think of some different fun things that we can do on lives, uh, whatever it might be. <laughs> maybe, uh, throw down some suggestions in the comment section and let me know. But uh, I will see you guys all later on. Thank you so much for joining me. 
and uh, good night. Love you very much. Bye-bye.